Hey everyone, it's Marco here from the Thema team and in today's video I'm going to be giving you an update on the basics of Thema. It's been a while since that last video and a lot has changed since then. So in today's video I'm just going to be giving you guys a little bit of tips and tricks on how to create and edit those current themes that are available. So let us begin. Great, so as you know, Thema is a launcher or a home screen replacement. And what a lot of people don't realize is the amount of customization that you can do to Thema that a lot of people aren't really aware of. And I see this a lot in the Google Play Store and I just like to help you guys out a bit. What generally happens is that people will apply a theme, for example, this pier theme right here that looks amazing, but they don't really enjoy, say for example, the background, they don't enjoy their time there. And they get very frustrated that they can't actually make it how they want it. They can't make it very personal. So in this video, I'm just going to be giving you a few tips and pointers on how to drastically change a the theme, but still keep within the boundaries and just make it a whole lot more personal for yourself. So as you know, each one of these themes here can be applied within seconds and it's very easy to do. Now what a lot of people don't realize is some of the older themes, they did have their text and icons built into the wallpaper and some of the new ones may have as well, but generally the new themes do allow you to change the wallpaper as well as the widgets as well with ease, just to make your guys' lives a whole lot easier. So let's start off with changing this wallpaper. So first off, what would happen if we don't really enjoy this pure wallpaper, even though it looks stunning, we can just change that very easily. All you have to do is say, hold down on the home screen, and now it's changed, it doesn't say change wallpaper anymore, it's now being replaced with home screens. This will now bring up an awesome looking home screens menu and this comes with a few little nifty features. For example, you can select a screen and then make it default and this will be now the default to screen when you say back out of apps. You can also change the style of the wallpaper. It's now been set to multi wallpaper because this one is different. It's not just a stretched wallpaper or it's not a scrollable wallpaper as this one's been slightly blurred. You can also change it to a single wallpaper. So if you don't want it to change at all, no matter what screen that you're on. And of course the good old scrolling wallpaper that if you want to have a wide image and scroll across, it looks really good. You can always set it to that. But now for example, we want to change our wallpaper and remove this screen. We don't want that one there at all we don't really need it so if you want to add or remove screens you can just select the plus or the minus button here so I'm just gonna select the minus one and get rid of it like that of course you can add a screen quick and simple like that now you want to change this wallpaper I want to change it to something else I'm gonna select change wallpaper next up you can just go into your gallery or wherever else you want to find a wallpaper and once you have found the one that you really enjoy you can just select save resize it if you want but I like this one for now and now it's been set like that and I can just click apply and within seconds it'll change it making it look a whole lot better depending on what your preference is. So as you can see the home screen looks already drastically different so we want to add in a few more features and change a few of them as well. So next up we'll be editing widgets and a lot of people out there also get frustrated because they'll try and edit this and hold down on it and nothing happens it brings up your Thema menu. This is because your lock widgets mode is on and in order to turn that off, all you have to do is bring up this menu, go into the advanced settings and select unlock widgets. And simple as that, you can now hold down on it, resize it, move it around, you can even hold down on it and select remove. So if you don't want it, you can get rid of it quick and simple like that. So I'm just going to hold down on it right now as there's another option that I want to point out and that is configure. And what this basically allows you to do is to configure the widget to your heart's content. Now there are two customization widgets that are very popular within Thema. The first one of course is a Thema Zupa widget and it's widely popular simply because it's Zupa widget and if you haven't used it before, uh, don't worry, I'll provide links for tutorials below. It's probably one of the ultimate customization apps to this day. So all you have to do is go into your layout and this is where you can change pretty much anything you want within this widget. I'm not going to go into too many details now, but a little tip and it's starting to become very popular is instead of using icons, as you can see these look like icons, they're actually a font. And why do we use fonts for icons? Well simply because the quality is outstanding. Unlike a bitmap or a simple image, no matter how large you make it, it'll never get distorted and it looks phenomenal. So if you want to start getting into creating your own themes, then you definitely want to look at the text font within each one of these widgets. As you can tell there are a lot of creative looking fonts but if you have a look closer you can tell that a few of them look like icons and we do recommend sticking to these as it makes it a whole lot easier to say resize you can color them if you want to get really technical you can add in some parameters so that they only show for example when you only have a missed call but we'll get to those in later videos so just for now just recommend playing around with these options of course if you make a mistake you can always just reload the theme or you can export it which if you don't know how to do you can also check in the link in the description below 
and we explain how to do that. So for the purposes of this video, say I didn't want these notifications here at the bottom, I'm not gonna use them at all. So all you'd have to do is to select each one of them and just select the little bin button icon there at the top and voila, it has now been removed. So I'm just gonna select the little plus icon right here, select the rich text as that just comes with a few more features. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna scroll a bit more down and I'm gonna select the text content as this allows you to add in some pretty neat looking custom templates. If we go into my calendar right now, select my next appointment go into edit text manually as from here you can just remove all the stuff that you don't really require you can of course reposition this newly added template just by changing the x and y offsets and you can of course change the font if you desire i'm just going to select back go back out of everything and quick and simple like that i added a personal touch to this already fantastic looking theme so finally guys, to conclude this video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to create a hotspot for a certain widget. And what that means is, say for example, you wanna open up the clock when you select the time like that. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna be using this little arrow right here as remember because that was used to jump to the second screen. But however, we removed that, it's no longer there. So we can now use it for something else. For example, a smart category, which wasn't around in the previous video. So in order to edit that, we're just gonna simply hold down on it select configure it's now going to bring up the super widget configuration remember in some themes they come with the everything widget which is basically a basic beginner version of a super widget it's still amazing to use especially if you want to use some music controls we recommend definitely sticking with everything widget it is a lot quicker than super widget but again i'll come to that in a later video next up we're going to go into our layout and I'm then gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. As you can see that rectangle right here, even though if I select it, I can't see it. That's because it's transparent. You don't have to change every single one of the individual icons and images. You just create a transparent layer over that little image and it just makes your job a whole lot easier. As you can tell, the module on tap has been set to jump to screen two, but of course there is no screen two. So we're just gonna scroll down within the widget section right here. Just gonna scroll a bit more down, whereby we'll then select the widget on tap action. We're just gonna scroll down within the widget column here as this contains all the smart categories. And let's just look for one that I use a lot, let's say the one called social. Now that's been set to a smart category, the social smart category. So I can now just exit out of everything and see how that works. And let's just test it out. Just gonna select that icon and then quick and simple like that brings up all my social apps that of course you can change with ease by selecting the overflow icon and manage. So once you have everything set up the way you want it, you wanna lock it all down. You just wanna simply hold down on the home screen once again, go into your advanced settings and select lock widgets. This will lock everything in place. However, if you can't get to that, for example, if it takes, your widget takes up the entire screen, you wanna go into your app drawer, you wanna go into your Thema main settings, whereby you can jump into your advanced settings, your desktop settings, and then finally enable lock home screen widgets and icons if you so prefer. So that is this video complete, guys. I hope you understand a bit more now on how Thema works and understand the basics as we're gonna be getting into a few more advanced settings later on in this series. So if you do have any comments on what we should add to this video, please let us know in the comments section below. But other than that, it's Marco here from the Thema team. And as always, don't stop customizing.